Hello, I'm Adam Sainsbury, A-D-A-M-S-A-I-N-S-B-U-R-Y. I was born with this genetic disorder called NF1, also known as neurofibromatosis type 1. But I call it NF1 because it's so much easier to say. When I was very young, I broke my fibula bone on my right leg. Um, it's been broken ever since, and that kind of triggered my mom and dad to take me to the doctor and find out what I really have. On July 19, 2010, I went to the doctor's office and had an MRI and um, they discovered that I have a brain tumor that which is growing. And the brain tumor is just not on my side of my head or the top of my head, it's actually more severe. It's actually on my brain stem. Uh, in July when we went to the MRI, we've been to several doctor appointments through the years and I was expecting this appointment to be a routine appointment that our oncologist would come in and tell me that everything looked good and to come back in a year. And um, I guess we've had these a couple other times with these appointments where the doctor comes in and I can just tell just as she walks in that there is something that's not right. I guess because we have worked with Adam's condition for years, uh, we've learned that you can't let your mind take it to places that it's not. How I reacted to this when I found out is that I wasn't quite know for sure what they're going to do. I no clue for sure it's going to be cancer or not. I just felt really sad and kind of down that day. I've known Adam for about five or six years now and um, we're in the same ward, we live on the same street. Uh, he was my senior patrol leader and Deacon's Corps president when I was scoutmaster. And I've always known Adam's had some um, health issues and I never knew what it was about. I never asked him and he never offered the information at all. But I knew about a month or two ago that uh, he was having some issues and I didn't know what it was concerning. And um, Mrs. Campbell, um, had asked me, she knew that we were in the same ward and knew each other well, and she asked me that, uh, what, was everything okay with Adam, because he knew he had to get some, uh, had some doctor visits. Well, I ended up calling uh, Spencer, uh, Adam's dad, and find, asking if everything was okay, and he told me uh, how in-depth and how serious some of the issues were, and, um, and that made me start thinking. Uh, we called Make-A-Wish, and um, we uh, spoke with Mrs. Campbell and the ball got rolling and that's how kind of Adam um, got to be here up till now. What my wish is is that mostly on the cruise base I was more thinking of like Hawaii cruise or maybe possibly a, a Caribbean cruise. Adam is a, a very special young man. Um, very special young man. Uh, of all the kids that my, 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 of all the babysitters that my kids have had, if you ask any of my children what babysitter they'd like to have, they unanimously will yell out, Adam, 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 we want Adam. Because when we leave and Adam comes over, it's just playtime. If my wish was granted, I'd be really happy, full of joy, and also it'll help me forget about it when I'm on the cruise. This time I can just have fun without thinking about it and I'll be really happy. I want most for Adam is for him to to love, continue to love life, to have opportunities that we all get to have. Uh, when the school first called and talked to my husband about Adam being a Make-A-Wish recipient, um, it was hard for me because it kind of took it to the next level in my mind and I didn't know how I felt about that. Um, but I do know that I'm just very grateful to all of you for loving Adam, for doing all this work for him. He really is an exceptional young man who reaches out and, um, and just loves everybody. He's just got a big heart. So to see this happen with uh, Adam here and be able to grant a wish to one of our own students and one of the caliber of Adam is very special. I really don't like to be put on the spot and everything is just awkward for me. 
but I have to say thank you and I am very grateful for what you're doing for me to grant my wish to come true. I'd wish for Adam more than anything else is for him to know how much he's loved. You know, everybody who he comes in contact with, whether it's uh, kids or adults or other young men and young women, I just would like you, Adam, to know that through all of this that we're um, doing here for you is that we love you.